want 52 points uh, to maintain uh, fourth uh, uh, from the 90 points that they currently have. So they're not going to make it easy for Power Dynamos. It's a game that remains rooted in uh, kind of having won the last match, and this is supposed to be payback time for Power Dynamos. But like many have said, Nkana are home, away from home here at the Arthur Davis Stadium. So home advantage for power counts very little indeed, as uh, has been witnessed uh, so far. So Nkana will be shooting from uh, left uh, to right. And uh, power dynamos, obviously the opposite. Only one change made so far, Richard Ngoma resting to allow Damon Chikwekwe to try and increase Nkana's uh, fortunes in this uh, particular match. So from wherever you're watching, and if you're an Nkana fan, or indeed a power fan, well, uh, you might want to add on to that uh, prayer that you have for your team's uh, victory. Add a little bit more spice to that prayer. Mkamba Mwenda Jr. joins me from a touchline conversation where there have been analysis of the first uh, 45 uh, minutes as uh, Power Dynamos with uh, Kennedy Msonda mount uh, the move in trying to create that um, attack, but it's a loss to Nkana for a free kick. Well, a change so far for Richard Ngoma uh, taking the bench and, of course, uh, Diamond coming on. Remember, Nkana do have the services of Giroi Takodzwa Chimwemwe. He, of course, was uh, a scorer for them in the last encounter. He scored the second goal. Quick reminder that uh, the options for power are also as delicious. Back returns after a, an injury spell off uh, the field of play for about two months for Godfrey Nguenya. The captain is back. Seven goals, six assists for him. Twakalin is also on the bench with five goals and two assists. Freddie Mulambi, I remember, will be looking to continue his prolific run from the first half alongside Joshua Mutale. Those two there uh, with Joshua four goals and Freddie with five goals. But it's this man here, Beston Chambeshi, who has picked up two victories in succession against uh, Power Dynamos. He'll be looking at a double. Stopped from progression. Kambazi with uh, that touch, though eventually coming off uh, Kondwani Tivoli to throw in to Power Dynamos. And you can still see the game starting slightly on a lower tempo than was the beginning. The first half, maybe that's an amount of respect that these two sides are giving each other. And now, the beginning of some liveliness with that uh, particular move. Flag is up. A lot more expectations on the shoulders of uh, Tiki Chinuba. There's going to be a reason why the Chinubas gave uh, that name. Expect uh, nothing but ticks uh, from uh, the Power Dynamo's uh, attacking midfielder. Kind of a positive name if uh, our interpretation is anything to go by, but. I might think that, I might say it's not exactly what was meant. The spelling is totally different from the tick that you might know. In the meantime, it is all down to measurable respect that the two, two sides have. Each side knows that when there is conceding, it's going to have a different approach to the game. Damon Chikwekwe had made a run on that occasion. 
and expected that pass to go to him. Both teams failing and picking up uh, an opportunity for danger. For in the last game, it was uh, Jacob Ngulube's uh, goal in the 88th minute that uh, summed up things in their victory that is in Ghana. Two goals to nil against Butkan. Started off with a penalty goal from Abashi. Remember, he's not in the starting 11. One of two changes by this Nkana side. Nkana needs to win both games and hope Zanako don't get all the victories with their game in hand to ensure that they are in a slot for continental action. Well, there's some interesting uh, possibilities in that sense. But in the meantime, this is Kennedy Musonda. Chikwekwe, who's taken over the captainship uh, from... Uh, Alex Ngonga contributing to that defensive uh, work, but right now. Tiki Chiluba on Patrick Gondwe, number 10 on number 10. Back in the day, the number 10 jersey was just not given it up or given out. There was something about you. Well, it has too many heavy names uh, in its uh, behind it. Should we start mentioning them? Well, the hand of gold is one of them. I thought you'd say with that. <laughs> no, I mean you gotta you gotta love the the iconic. So the could be, yes, in, I'm sure you're talking about Diego Maradona, but there could be trouble here for Linus Makwa. Second time, he's uh, seeming to be in a position or place of bother. There was that shot that he stopped, which attracted treatment the spot of bother is in now linus makwaza jr had a bit of an inset earlier when we're doing the build up linus having a chat with his father linus makwaza senior remember his grandfather also a footballer big footballer in his day in fact we've got families of football dotted around the league and the country one of our analysts babo malitole had his brother also playing football in modern but before that their older brother used to play football from Ghana and Babo used to join them as Tivoli releases the ball to Patrick oh Ngolube just needed to be a little bit quicker on that occasion opportunity here in Ghana but they don't take full advantage pressure here surely no another chance but uh, Paul react quicker to keep Ghana at bay those are frailties being exposed in that part animal's defense. If your striker becomes a left back, then you have a problem. Brian Wheeler, as much as he's a hard worker and you like box to box players, his attribute that brought him to the power faithful at Arthur Davis Stadium in Deke here is his scoring prowess. Three to his name thus far, but he's far away from scoring a goal. I don't even think he can sniff it if he's uh, playing as a left back. Mutale, he's got Mwila on support, but releases the ball too heavy from Joshua. And no way Kennedy Musonda was going to find that ball. So the expectations on Joshua are immense. And um, you kind of it, tend to think gets overwhelmed sometimes. Indeed. I mean, if you talk about uh, his ability, I think he can live up to expectation. But he needs that support from Frederick Mulambia. He needs to be closer to the young Joshua Mutale. I mean, likewise, on the other side, Patrick Gondwe, Patrick, uh, I beg your pardon, on the other side, you're talking about uh, the young Patrick Gondwe, yes. Good move, Vankana. Oh, important blockade there from uh, John Soko. Wonderful defensive work. Still, Vankana with a chance. Now, here's an effort that is wonderful from Bob Chancer. In his slow fashion, he powers a shot that has to be stopped by Lawrence Mlenga. Well, Chancer there just uh, hits it sweetly. Remember that you need to shoot if you have any chance of scoring. And I think that ball was struck sweetly. Lawrence had it covered, Mlenga there. Conic Looks like uh, there might be a substitution for Power Dynamos. And uh, they're looking to bring on uh, Steven Mwawa. Looks like he's replacing Linus Makwaza Jr.
So Linus is lost by power. Possibly so. Here's a corner kick. Nkana, here comes the ball. Lawrence picks it. Well, Linus must be a very unhappy camper. Linus in his fourth derby here. Again, Nwonga is in it. Even as Stephen Mwawa comes on for Linus Makwaza Jr. Nwonga really taunting Lawrence Mulenga. I don't think he needs to do that. Nwonga likes getting under people's skin, but people easily get under his skin. He's on a yellow, remember? One of three that we saw in the first half, thanks to Michael Lialavi. Aaron Katebe. He's got uh, Kletas Mulani for support, but decides against it. This is Joshua Mutale. He's got Mulani for support. This is Kletas. Will he cross it in? He tries, but uh, Chikwekwe is there. And it's got to be a corner kick to power Dynamos. Well, Chikwekwe made the first touch, and the second touch was supposed to come off Kondwani Chiboni, a former power player himself. It will be a corner kick, most likely to be taken by Kletas Mulani. Remember, he has that ability to just whoop it in. Really, really good at uh, set pieces. Chance and power dynamo. Oh! He's been working hard, Kenneth Sonda. And power dynamos are ahead here. And everything has broken loose. Power with the lead. Mangani Panda doesn't know what happened there. And there is celebration. Look at the disbelief on power dynamo supporters. The man I recognize as Kapasa in disbelief. In the meantime, Pod Animals can celebrate. And this could be the beginning of much more football at the other Davis Stadium. Musonda with a whip that sends in kind of fans reeling. Well, he's been the man on fire. Remember again, it was Joshua Mutale, a little pass, and I did say it was Clayton who put in a freak ball, a header, and really the defense was lost at sea. The goalkeeper, Mangani Banda, was nowhere to be seen. A gift of an opportunity. What a combination of passes and a 10. As a matter of fact, it, may, it looks like it's an own goal. I don't think Kennedy Sonda scores. That ball comes in. Kennedy puts in his shoulder there, but it looks like it's an own goal by, of course, uh, a Kana defender. So That's could, the pressure. It could be under the pressure, and if it is an own goal, it could be Oliver Lumbia. Or well, Derek, Derek Nkombozi, actually. Just number 15, Derek, Derek Nkombozi. Nkombozi yeah. So, well, it looks like it on came goal off from who was so close to Kennedy Sonda. So when the replay is made, didn't you see an own goal from changed. Power a while back? Well, yes, 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 indeed. So it looks like an own goal. And then Kana went to score a second one from uh, Giroy Chimwenwe. Well, Paul Banda was in with that own goal. Paul Giroy made it in the in the in the last game. Looks like. Uh, a reply in this sense the referee is coming down wonder what uh, he's going to consult what the consultation is about so well, it looks like michael yalavi is saying he needs more reinforcement in terms of uh, crowd control he's saying look this is this goes back to the discussion we had re any. regarding the number of fans versus the facility Kana stadium is small at the stadium is small you gotta take this game to a bigger venue because you can actually fill them up with proper marketing or proper advertisement so now there's too much pressure and the referee is not, is not feeling safe. And, and frankly, there's no game that can bring fans together like this one. Look at how the fans are looking for new opportunities to watch the game. 
the game has outlived both stadiums. The game has outlived both sets of fans and teams. It's larger than life. It needs to move to a bigger stadium. They should play at a neutral stadium. We were talking about Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates. They play at the FNB on more times than uh, we care to mention. You talk about uh, the younger Simba, El Ali, and Samalek. All those teams know that the derby is larger than they. And we allow it. It's a little bit unhappy. That is the team manager, Lombe. The team manager of power having a bit of conversations with George Chilufia. I like how when your chipepo is so calm. This game has outlived, or should we say, the facilities have run short. The game has. Uh, Cup too big for Arthur Davis Stadium in Ghana Stadium. And unless there is expansion of these facilities, yeah, it's good if I can see what is happening. Yeah, that's why it's just a catastrophe. They're just trying to play with our mind. But please, the media manager says. It's the supporters for power who are confusing and running. In a, so the, he's saying the power supporters are wearing Ghana jerseys to bring confusion. Look, we can never prove that. And until it is proven, at the end of the day, this facility has become small, like the Nkana facility for this. This is a big game. And we see this year in, year out. Derby in, derby out. Once one team starts losing, the pressure mounts from the fans and the players. This only helps power, by the way. Look, just in case you missed it, in the 57th minute, an own goal from Derek Nkombozi. Todd Animals coming with the second. And if just to continue on that narrative, everybody's so filled up, wrapped up to the fence. We just want the game to end nicely, peacefully, because you have to be open at the fact that the football has reported some unfortunate incidences. And one should never happen here before that decision is made. Power Dynamos and Inkana, too big a match for these facilities at the risk of overemphasizing. So, the match continues. Well, the captain, Faustin Bacadilla, has picked up a yellow. That brings to four the total number of yellow cards. He just pulled on his marker there, Alex Bazongonga, Bacadilla. Alex Ngonga fouled there. He maintains his cool because it's clear for everybody to see. George so, Chisala is expected to come onto the field of play as uh, Mwenya Chipepo just tells him, when you go and fit into that draw, your job is to make sure. And I've been saying it for a while, that Tiki Chilua has been second best. He's really been quiet. Tiki might be given a yellow card if he doesn't really do what is expected of him. He's been a shadow of himself, Tiki. George Chisala comes in. Well, now it's going to be 11 v 11 because when Tiki was on the field of play, it was as good as they were playing 10 men. Here comes the ball. Heads go up. It's Nkana looking for now the equalizer. Kondwani Chiboni. Musonda. Now he wants to score. He wants to be the one to have the name behind that scorer's board. Brian Mueller stops the ball. Not too sure, but we'll need some help. Get it from uh, Mutale. Pada Namos. Feeble effort on that occasion as Ngluve clears to Bakodila. So in the first game, it was Paul Banda that uh, gifted Nkana before Jiro Ichimumwe came to finish it off in the first meeting, giving Nkana two goals to nil. Are we going to see something similar here? I'm but trying, Alex Ngonga in the box. He's going to shoot from there. He does, and he lays it for, ba for Gondway. Oh, that was really, really close. In the meantime, there's a chase here. Good work. Easy does it for Derek Mkombozi. Now this is looking dangerous. Mulambia is going. 
and he shoots. Well, you can see that song with Chale, the young brother of a super sport analyst. Earlier on, nice pass from uh, Basel to Patrick Gondwe. And Gondwe looking to thread it through to, of course, uh, Jacob Ngulube. But that now, opportunity couldn't go past Lawrence Mlenga. Sonkana need to play with Ngonga because he's in the right place, he's flicking the ball, but they have to be the right, the right anticipation. So, as it stands, Muka, power might just get what they want if only to supplant one team in uh, Zanako. Remember Zanako are in action tomorrow. They will have two games in hand but as it stands with a victory here, power moves to 47 with one game to go. And if Nkana don't win the next one and uh, Zanako don't win and Kansanshi don't win, it's power in a uh, continental action. The only team to have won a continental title for Zambia, Power Dynamos. The pedigree is that serious. So Talking about pedigree, he's won an African title with the under 20. That is Bastian Chambeshi. He's won a league title. He picked up Nkana when they were fighting relegation. And he's won two derbies back to back. Can he make it a home and away double in this derby? Well, he needs to score two goals now. Well, absolutely. And that is not an impossibility as uh, Kondwani Tivoni decides where to th throw the ball. It's in Guluve. No foul, referee says, continue to Kletas Mulalani, the former Lumuana player. Doesn't do a very good job out of that ball. Changes being made and uh, Nkana uh, bringing in the landlord. Franklin, your memory is better than mine, even as Bob Chansha comes off. What's the date today, Franklin? April the 20th. Is it closer to mid month or close to the month end? I don't know what you're getting at. <laughs> April the 23rd means the landlord has come to correct his rent. <laughs> okay. And you know, I landlords... Be, I have to be careful not no. to go into those issues. No, and you know, landlords, uh, every day is a, is, a, is a payday for rent. Look at the youngster. That is, of course, Joshua Mtale. Just pulled away from Stephen Chulu there. But it was this young man, Kondwani Chibuoni, who dropped him. And you almost bet your last money on Cletus Mololeni to take. The last time Cletus and, of course, uh, the young man Joshua Mutale combined to put a ball in the box. There was an on goal by Derek Nkombozi. Mololeni, very good at uh, set pieces. Brings in the ball. Heads go up. Brian Wheeler chases after it. He's got uh, support from soccer, but decides to go for goal. And Mangani collects. Brilliant from the goalkeeper there, because he knew that uh, Kennedy Musonda was just on his heels at his back. He knew that he would uh, probably just pick up some spoils. Twice now, we have seen that from uh, Derek Nkombozi, remember, he scored an own goal. I don't think his uh, nerves are okay. If I was a power technical team, I would tell my strikers to put pressure on Nkombozi. Kana are looking for a game changer. This is Shivani. He's going. Gondwe. Oh, overdoes it in that fall. Referee did not pay attention. 20 minutes remain of this match.
throw. Musonda sends it. Chooses to go for pace, but Tola is equally fast to the ball. It's going to be a foul in favor of Ankana. Tyson Tola gets clipped by uh, Kennedy Musonda. Had a stint playing football in the US of A. He didn't come back with a Texan accent, funny enough. I've seen players who are going for trials from Zambia and the accent changes midstream when connecting a flight uh, in Kenya. Muka, come on. <laughs> Don't blame me, mate. Are you trying to say something? <laughs> in the meantime, it's all about how Nkana will come back into the game. So changes to be made. So the creative is being taken off. Joshua Mtale, a former Kubuli, will be coming on to replace the youngster. He's looking for a more measured approach. And if you want to be a cynic, he's defending. Brian, ineffective afternoon. Makes way for Regan Donga. Power double substitution as a Kennedy Msonda plays a very serious defensive role when he releases that ball. Clearly, the slender lead, one that Nkana can cut. Look at all that interest. Packed, packed stadium. Wonkana fans walk out of here victorious. Can they get the equalizer with this attack? Well, the first effort. Talk about Bakodila coming on the field of play, not only picking up the captain's armband, also rallies the fans. And remember, that's the area where they keep Nkana youngsters, the uh, power youngsters, they come in for free. Even as the goal scorer from the last derby comes on to play, the Zimbabwean played with the Brave Warriors at the last AFCON that was won by uh, Senegal. Giroy Tafalza Chimwemwe scoring that goal in the last derby comes onto the field of play. Corner kick in Kana, and Giroy is in. He scored in the last match, in the last meeting. Kana are looking for cancellation of the power lead tipped over for a corner kick that was clever from Derek Mukombozi but uh, an important decision from powers uh, Lawrence Mulenga tipping the ball over well Mulenga knows that he's got uh, Jacob Ngulube for company so he goes for safety here comes the ball for another chance from Kana I think referee. that's a foul, that's a bookable offense. The diamond in the rough knows what it's done. El Capitan. Chikwekwe there takes one for the team because the pace that Kennedy Musonda has, he would have left him for dead there. Musonda gets it there. There, at that moment, you know that when he jumps on that motorbike, <laughs> there's only one way. It's him, 1v1 against Mangani. And you know if you're a betting man where you would put your money. From Lawrence to Mangani. Mangani distributes. This is Ngonga. He needs support. He could get it. Because Ngolove offered himself. Still fighting spirit. Works out. Nkana on the edge, looking for that shooting chance. It's not being offered very easily. Will there be a cancellation of the slender lead? Alex Ngonga. Chips in the ball. Ngonga has been given a chance again. He's got Shimwemwe for support. 
I don't understand the show boating, you know, play it simple, Monga. The back heel unnecessary. Power are in trouble, but they quickly get out of it. Struggling to get out of the area, Power Dynamos. This is Chimwemwe. Nguluve. Mkombozi. Kana are smelling an opportunity. Nguluve. That would have uh, found uh, Patrick Gondry nicely, but this is Musonda Kennedy. And he should be saying, if only that ball had obeyed him. Now, this is looking promising for Nkana. Chikwekwe has the ball. He's being pursued by Aaron Katebe. Chance to shoot is denied as Paul Dynamos come along. This is the Kitter Derby. Ladies and gentlemen, Kennedy Musonda slows down, trying to cut into the box of uh, Cooks. He's uh, cross as he tried to get Regan Tonga there. Either Kennedy has too much confidence in his teammate or he underrates the kind of defense. That was a dreadful delivery. But again, he's been the outstanding player for this power side. It's because of his pressure. Hence, the own goal from, of course, uh, the one and only Derek Nkombozi in the 57th minute. But power are using the tortoise formation. They are really retracting. And I think it's dangerous play. They need to be more offensive than defensive. They need to throw more bodies in front because right now they're just inviting Nkana. Two V5. Regan. It doesn't work. There's some haste, some, some haste that is not working for part animals today. Yes, they've got a free kick, the throw in now, maybe, or the ball does come in to Alex Nwonga. He showed too much there and lost the ball in the process, Alex Nwonga. But there's a chance again for Nwonga to recover. Sate Sate. Free kick Nkana in a very, very great position. Sate Sate there, just uh, he throws himself into the line, and I think it was a professional dive. He sold the dive to Michael Lialavi, and uh, Lialavi bought it. There was contact, but you could see the intention from the landlord. 13 minutes to Power's uh, victory on Kana's loss which can be cancelled right now. Lawrence Mulenga wants to be shielded. He shouts Muzo, not referring to a super sport analyst. <laughs> but of course, uh, Musonda Kennedy there. Chance here, an opportunity. Oh, blockade. What a lost chance. And now, Mulambia is going. Switching play to Kennedy Msonda. This is Chimwemwe. Giroy. You would have thought there that uh, maybe Cletus would have done better. Again, with 11 minutes plus other time to go, the onus is on Kana, because Power's game is evident. We will hit you on the counter. We will try to suck the pressure. But Power are not a sponge. They really need to change their tactic because they're inviting Kana. Headed out. Kana are piling pressure. Looking for the equalizer. Will it come? This is the landlord, Tunguluve. Oh, 
Oh, showed a bit much there. Oh, now this is uh, Regan Tonga. Over does it, chips onto the ball too long. Very good uh, defensive work there from John Sokol. There's a man down for Power Dynamos in the meantime. Kennedy Musonda is the man down. The chief tormentor of this Nkana defense. They should have gone for his head, one would have thought, because it might have ended into a foul. But as he went his leg up, he put his leg up, he went for it. He sort of just pulled a muscle. And the muscles, when your legs are spread out, become softer. Once you pull it, well, let's talk a little bit about the muscle that worked in that instance. The muscle of pressure. Kennedy Musonde just puts the pressure there. And uh, Bakodila scores an on goal. Uh, Derek Mkombozi, I beg your pardon. Mkombozi on goal had this power fans elated. The celebration and equaled. Sankana, who've picked up two victories in their last five, will be hoping for something. Mangani Banda, who want another clean shit under his sleeve. Joined up with his former manager at under 20, Beston Chambeshi at Nkana. With just about uh, nine minutes. It looks like there'll have to be a little bit more work to be done by Nkana for them to get any fruit out of this uh, labor. Oh, a bit of confusion. Is it a power throw in or Enkana throw in? Well, the power fans go down as they are hit by rockets. And they did it in synchronized fashion. You would almost think they were synchronized swimmers. The way they fell down, they looked like synchronized swimmers gunning for gold at the Olympics. They were hit with plastic bottles. And the way they went down, Franklin, I would swear that they're training for synchronized swimming. They are there trying to get the ball. There's the first water bottle, second water bottle. They both go down like synchronized swimmers. There they go. <laughs> what a beauty. Simulation at its best. Ladies and gentlemen, if they fail at football, we know they'll make good actors. <laughs> well, when you really want everything, you overdo a lot of things. Ngulube, that's a dangerous ball. Chance here, surely. Uh, Diamond Chikwekwe needs to bring that ball down. He needs to lower that strike to get that equalizer. Kana Anoki, and the door might just open. T minus seven minutes plus additional time. You know that ball is going to be pushed to the end when Bakodila just uh, sort of puts in a glancing header. You would expect more composure from the maturity that has come with his profession. Diamond Chikwekwe. Well, while Yakasonde comes on for Patrick Gondwe. Throw the kitchen sink and everything while it's your at it. Absolutely. Regan and Tonga. Todd Animals, no. They've got to just hold on. Mulal Mulalani has been wonderful this afternoon. Nicely sneaked in ball. Mutonga to Bulambia. But Chiboni is there to keep Power Dynamos at bay. Oh, Makovoli is there, but still danger not completely over. Sate Sate is trying to weave his way past that top power defense. Mkana still in control. Power still feeling the pressure. Here comes the ball. Headed out, Mutonga, 
here he goes for dynamos with uh, that pressure he's not going to go away with that moments Lawrence Sonder Lawrence Amlinga picks it up uh, easily every opportunity that is missed is uh, music to the power fans ears but in Ghana fans remain hopeful Look at this slow walk toward the ball by John Soko. Power can smell victory. It will be sweet revenge, but not the greatest since that goal came from Ankana player. What will be sweeter is to score from a power fan, but the three points is a three points. As Musonda urges power fans on. Corner kick, power. That is the maturity that Musonda brings. We didn't see a lot of it when he played for Lusaka Dynamos. It was quite the traveler back a few years back in the season's past, but now looks like he's found home at Arthur Davis Stadium. Musonda, first, first of all, just puts it out for a throw in, and now a corner. They're looking for the beautiful lessons and boots of Claytas Mulolani to take the corner. I don't know if they called him because he was the furthest player out. Because you know these are delaying tactics. <laughs> so it can only work to Nkana's advantage. More time is added, the better. Kana just to kind of just need that one chance to cancel the power dynamo's impending party. Chimwemwe. Can he find the scoring boot which helped him score against power in the earlier meeting? Referee says play on. Ball to Diamond Chikwekwe. Kana's quest for the equalizer in the Kitwe Derby. This is Ronald Satasate Kampamba finds Chimwemwe. Jeroy can't get the ball past Kletas Mulolani. And it's a corner kick. Power under pressure here. The Zimbabwean with the corner kick. Will there be last minute drama? Will there be some celebration from Kana? Well, the Zimbabwe had a final say in the last derby, scoring the second goal as uh, Kana beat power two goals to nil. Here's the throw. Chance here, surely! And Sate Sate doesn't do himself the coach the fans any favor because that's a golden opportunity play the ball low he goes for a spectacular and unfortunately like the lotto it can go either way you can be a millionaire or a total shark in that instance the landlord forfeits his tenants rent that was that was the equalizer that was the game changer for Ghana. But it all depends on the amount of added time that will be given. Well, I think it will, it will be around the four, five minute mark.
throw into Kana. No time. It's all up to Kana in terms of uh, being pacey and moving forward. A nail biting encounter, more so than anything can happen. Chiboni tries to chest, but he leaves it to uh, Kombozi. Simanga Nibanda, the goalkeeper. Four minutes have been added on to this uh, match. Chikwekwe looking for and finds uh, Mwanga. Good play in Kana. Something can come out of it. Chikwekwe again. He's got Nguluwe for support and makes that decision. Nguluwe nearly loses the ball to power. Yes. An acrobatic clearance, if just for entertainment. But it's still kind of in control with Jiro Ichimwemwe. Whilst in power, go for the flowery approach. Nkana just need to bang in the goal. Ngolove. Chimwemwe goes for the effort. And power bought the opportunity to mount a counter attack. Free kick, power dynamics. Well, that'll be music to the power fans. Nothing more than a hundred and fifty seconds. Slowly moving to 120 seconds. It's power dynamos who relish every single second. They can smell the three points and more importantly, moving closer to continental action. Remember, there's a small matter of Sanako and Sesco to do battle. So as much as Sanako have a game in hand, they take on the defending champions who will also be hoping for an outside chance of winning the title. Well, talk about uh, going to the wire. It's possible that... Uh, Arrows the... may not win, and uh, Zesco win the league. Tambeshi are not a, smoke, a, a pushover. Well, I, a... I, I, know, I know James Chamanga tomorrow, and the Arrows fans will believe. Well, disappoint... points, huh? disappointment on Encarna fans, but it's not completely over. But they know what, to, what will follow. The Power Dynamos fans will not let them have some peaceful evening. So they know what to expect if it ends like this, but they, they remain hopeful. There will be interesting conversations on dinner tables today. Bragging rights, aloof. Look at that concerned uh, face. And if you didn't come with your own vehicle and you were given a lift by a Kana fan <laughs> and you're a power guess supporter, who's, guess who's walking guess home? Who's walking home? But in the meantime, it takes out the steam of Nkana, Nkana's game, this particular situation. Steven Mwamba. Steven Mwamba, actually. Quicksilver knows what this is all about. So he will try and will be hoping that there can be something magical happening in the next few minutes as this power fan on kind of supporters have just got mouths full of teeth they have no words whatsoever will this be sweet revenge for power dynamos ball goes out for and kind of throw in the work rate from kennedy musonda has been encouraging. Chance here now. This could be disastrous, but uh, good it'll defensive. It will be a corner kick, and probably the last kick of the ball has power. Do not allow Nkana to do a double on them. Look at this crowd. They could be more in a bigger facility. That has to be emphasized. This power fan is already too doped to be stopped. <laughs> Coming for a derby with a, a T20 jersey, Indian Premier League jersey, then Kana fans are leaving the stadium because they know there's no hope. 
Any minute from now, the referee should be blowing. It's all about managing the game. As in Kana, go for what could be the last attack. And the referee still keeping his whistle away from his mouth. And in Kana, will be hoping that the referee loses his whistle or swallows it altogether. This is Jiroi Chimwemo. Will there be a long to be a long throw trying to push matters up front? Kana being given a chance to attack for perhaps the last time. Ball goes out from Kana throw in yet again. The Kitra Derby. And this is why it's the biggest soccer showpiece in the land. And it ends with Todd Animals grabbing three points from Onkana. Celebration in Kitwe. The bragging rights belong to Powered Animals. The bragging rights taken away from Onkana. The fans will continue to, to uh, celebrate. So